The toy poodle is one of the most popular, appreciated and lovable types of poodles in the world. If you thought there was only one poodle type, the FCI actually recognizes four according to their size. This Animal Wise video is concerned with the smallest of them all, even smaller than dwarf poodles. Let's go. The poodle is a direct descendant of the barbet, a breed of African origin which came to the Iberian Peninsula and crossed with Portuguese water dogs. The breeds would later separate thanks to breeders wanting to develop a waterfowl hunting dog. As for the name, the French for poodle is caniche, deriving from the word for a female duck. Thanks to their sociable, extremely faithful and positive character, the poodle ceased to be a hunting dog and became mainly a companion animal, becoming the national dog breed of France by the 15th century. From then on, breeders strove to achieve a uniform coat color, avoiding spots or unwanted patterns. In 1922, the Poodle Club was founded in Paris and a few years later in 1936, the FCI established the official breed standard. It was not until 1984 when the Toy Poodle Standard was created. Toy Poodles are small dogs with a height which should not exceed 28 centimeters at the withers. Their weight should be around 2 to 2.5 kilograms. In reference to their coats, there are two types. Those with curly hair, which is abundant, frizzy and uniform, or those with corded hair, which is fine, woolly and dense, forming cords up to 20 centimeters long. The coat color can be black, white, gray, brown or fawn, but always solid and uniform in color. Toy poodles are, as with other poodle types, active, obedient and intelligent dogs. They are easy to train and educate. We can also speak of a particularly sociable breed, so they do not do well in the absence of tutors. In fact, excessive and prolonged loneliness can cause unwanted behaviors such as destructiveness, stress or becoming overly vocal. They are ideal for families with children due to its positive character and energy becoming an ideal companion for little ones in the home. They can also socialize well with other pets and elderly people, as long as they have been positively socialized during their sensitive period as a puppy. If well maintained, they can adapt well to small and large spaces. Due to the characteristics of their fur, the toy poodle needs to be brushed daily. In this way, we can avoid the formation of tangles, dirt accumulation and excess hair in the home. It is advisable they are given a monthly bath. Let us not forget about eye, ear, tooth and nail care as part of their basic hygiene needs. Another important aspect of their care is physical and mental stimulation, since they are very physically active dogs with an alert mind. This requires a tutor who can provide superior enrichment, more than many other dogs need. We should offer between three to four walks per day while also practicing other physical exercise or doing sport. Environmental enrichment at home will also help us in this regard. Finally, we must not forget the importance of feeding which will affect the dog's coat and overall health. The education of the toy poodle should start quickly when they are a puppy. The most important stage is the socialization period which begins at three weeks and ends at three months. The puppy needs to learn to relate to other individuals as well as be aware of different environments. Of course, they will need certain vaccinations before going outside. If not, your dog may experience future socialization problems such as fear or aggressiveness. In cases where the puppy cannot socialize with parents or siblings, a canine educator with classes for puppies should be consulted. Also in the puppy stage, you will need to teach them to pee on newspaper, inhibit their bite and start playing games to stimulate the poodle's mind. Of course, this always has to happen positively as if it were a game. Later, once they have been properly vaccinated, we can teach them to walk and urinate on the street begin education exercises and provide basic obedience training. The latter includes sitting, lying down, staying still and coming. These are all essential for their safety and good communication with their guardian. Poodles have certain pathologies associated with their breed genetics, 
so most mentioned here are hereditary origin. Some of them affect sight, such as intrapion, cataracts, glaucoma, or progressive retinal atrophy. They may also have hypothyroidism, which affects thyroid hormones, epilepsy, or otitis. To avoid otitis, it is recommended to clean their ears according to certain guidelines, such as using appropriate cleaners or completely drying them afterwards. They can also develop diseases which can affect skin health, such as fungal infections, allergies, or pyoderma. Lastly, the possible presence of hip dysplasia, leg calve perthes disease, or patellar dislocation should be noted. To prevent and or detect some of the aforementioned health problems, it is important to go to the vet every 6 to 12 months, since regular supervision by a specialist will help detect problems early. We need to also follow the vaccination and deworming schedule strictly. If you have any toy poodle experiences you can share, please do so in the comment section below. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more to come, and we'll see you next time.